Hi, my name's Mark Southgate and I am the Chief Executive of NOBI, which is the Ministry of Building, Innovation and Education. There's probably no typical day at Moby. Um, it can involve all sorts of things. It can involve talking to schools uh, around some of our education challenges. We run Young Challenges for Children to uh, design homes and design elements of homes to get them interested in the built environment, what we call the built environment, i.e. the buildings around you, uh, and into uh, the design of those buildings. It could be talking to industry about how home building is changing. It could be talking to colleges and universities about the uh, lectures and courses that may be provided. So it can be quite different. Um, uh, it's a varied day and actually one of the delights of working is having a varied day. The main skills that you need uh, working in this industry, I think, are the skills you need in many industries first. I would put getting on with people, understanding people, listening to people, uh, understanding their perspectives is really important in any industry. Uh, what we're trying to do is change how we build houses in the future, um, but we need to understand how that happens at, at, at present. Um, we need to be able to get on with people in uh, in the building industry, in the construction industry, in uh, academia, so at universities and colleges, to relate to children at school and young people. So, so really, uh, getting on with lots of young people and getting on with lots of older people too is, is one of the skills. I think the second one is just being, uh, for a small charity, being able to do a lot of different things. Uh, so actually I could be doing finances one day, I could be doing strategy, writing big documents for our board another day, I could be out visiting a school or a college a day after that, um, so it's pretty varied work. Uh, and then probably the third one is having a good understanding of, of home building, understanding design, understanding of education and, and the challenges that all of those areas are facing. Uh, so that uh, in the future uh, we can direct our colleges and our challenges um, to the best uh, that we can and ensure the people who come off those challenges and come out of those colleges are really designed to change the way it, the industry is in the future. So what do I love about uh, working for Moby? I love the fact that we are a small charity. I've, I've worked in the non-governmental uh, sector, which is the charity sector, for probably about half of my working life. It's a great sector to work in. Um, I love the fact we are out to try and change things and make things better. So we want to make the homes of the future much better than the homes of the present. And we want to do that by um, enabling young people to do that. So that's great. So both making a big change and doing that through empowering young people is, is fantastic. Um, and then I like the variety of what Moby does. So I can be involved in all sorts of different things, uh, different, different part of the job every day. Um, lots to learn. When I came into Moby I had to learn about housing, I had to learn about charity law, I had to learn about um, different parts of the modular construction industry as it's known, but modern construction methods. So I am always learning uh, and that is a great great um, uh, uh, pleasure I get out of a job is, is constantly being learning. And then finally it's sort of um, working with people. So working with people just, just motivates me and I love working with different people and I get lots of that at Moby. Another way that the industry is changing is that construction is going through um, something of a revolution at the moment. Um, it's called modern methods of construction and that's using manufacturing techniques which are more akin to cars and other processes and bringing those into the manufacturing of, um, of student accommodation, of prisons, of hotels and now increasingly of homes. Um, so uh, the industry may not be as you thought it is. Um, certainly the image of construction is not perhaps the best. Um, it's often seen, seen to be dirty building sites but the built environment has jobs throughout so it's it's massive just think about what goes on in uh, in the making of a town or a city well pretty much you know, all those things require people to do them um, so it's not only not necessarily the industry that everybody thinks construction is because construction is just one part of that yes you need people to build the, the homes and, and the factories etc but you need people to design them to make sure they work to do all the electric electrics inside them um, to do all those things but it's also an industry which is changing in terms of you know, actually now people are beginning to manufacture some homes inside factories and take them out and assemble them out on site 
um, likewise with schools and colleges. So there's there's a real change in the industry. Um, so have a look because it's not necessarily the industry you think it is. So what would I recommend to my 16 year old self? I'd recommend look around, find the thing that you want to do. Uh, the most important thing, if you're going to spend a life working, is that you enjoy it as much as you can. So I think find something that you enjoy doing, you find rewarding, in whichever way that may be. That may be because it makes a difference to people's lives, it may be because you can see what's uh, happening, changing around you, it may be because that's just the thing you love doing. So look out for that, and if you're at now at 16, don't panic if you haven't found it. I went on to university and it wasn't until the final year of my university course, so I was 21 then, that I discovered planning, town and country planning, and that's the thing I ended up spending most of my career doing, and I've loved it. I've loved every minute of it. Um, uh, was I panicking a little bit? Maybe, but actually finding the thing you want to do and then sticking out and making sure you do it is so important. So, so keep looking, keep thinking about the things you, you want to do.